Welcome to another edition of EMAC2411 on YouTube.com. Right here, this is Eddie McNamara. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the full backstage details because they've been exposed on the WWE meeting with Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and Vince McMahon. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. So according to DWN, their premium newsletter section, go check them out right now. Okay. Um, besides the standard talent meeting that was held at Monday's WWE Raw in Pittsburgh, there's another meeting between Vince McMahon Triple H and the current reigning defending Undisputed, what Polymo would say, uh, and WWE World Champion Brian Lesnar. Now, we don't exactly know what was, we don't know exactly what was said at the meeting, but it was reported by the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that nothing has changed this week in regards to the issues between Lesnar and WWE. Obviously, it's possible that the situation was worked out this weekend. We just don't know yet. There was a buzz at Raw this uh, week that Paul Heyman, uh, Fury promo indicated that Lesnar and WWE have agreed on any deal, be uh, but that's not confirmed because it was pointed out how WWE would not allow Heyman to mention the UFC if Lesnar really was on his way out. With that said, word, can, word coming out of Raw this week is that Vince is still confident that he and Lesnar will get a new deal Done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. I've really expressed this. I've kept you in the know. I've kept you in the loop, working around the clock, providing you working on the latest news and stuff. Um, really said my opinion. I've really had, but I'll try to. Um, okay, so we yeah, I gave my view and opinion and stuff. Made a video about the town meeting at Rock um, this past week. Gave my you know. So I didn't even know about this until now, but they did have a meeting, all three of them that were in the room. Okay, so they're, they're saying nothing's changed, but, uh... Now, I think it has probably been worked out, in my opinion. Um, I think they probably got into it. They got probably a new contract deal. Um... I know really, I, that's what I was thinking, honestly, would they even mention the UFC? I mean, I, maybe it was a shoot and it wasn't scripted at all, but... I don't know. Yeah, I'm confident too that they're he's gonna have to resign. I don't know. I don't know for how long, how much money, how many dates, is it more, is it less. However, will he drop the WWE World Heavyweight Championship to Roman Reigns at a WrestleMania 31 this year in just 17 days? Um you know, when we have a new champion. It's that two title offenses barely showing up in Raw. Um I think he really it's his time to relinquish. Or uh, lose the championship. Maybe it's not Charles so can catch it. I'm not even sure. However, I wonder what the, the WWE Superstars see was they're thinking about Brian Lesnar resigning. Do they want him there? Do they not? Do they think he should go to UFC? I think he should stay, but um, I wonder if they are annoyed with him. Or, I mean, he's a beast incarnate. But um, he's not the same like he was in 2002, 2003, 2004 when he was in the WWE for about two years. And yeah. So, um, basically, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, basically that's going to be it, I got nothing really else to say, but, uh, now we all know that, hold on, I'm going to say something else really quick, um, you know, now that he missed that one round when he walked out, it could be a storyline, could be fake, they might be, you know, making us think that, because we all know they're chasing newsletters, websites are going to report this, we all know, they might be thinking, you know, it's going to get out here, and, you know, we all know that WWE hates the YWC, IWC, they hate people like me, like you. Even though I'm not that famous or nothing, I'm not a big boy on here, but I'm trying to be. Um, but um, guys, um, basically, um, really it. Now, does, is he gonna appear on next week's or this coming week's Raw on Monday night on the USA Network for three hours? We announced live. Um, is he gonna make up for that one uh, date that he missed on March 16th, and then appear for March 23rd, and then uh, WrestleMania? His main event match with the 2019 Royal Rumble winner Roman Reigns. So the WWE World Championship Wrestling will be defending it, and Roman Reigns is of course the challenger, and he'll be appearing for the March 30th Raw. And then we probably, if he does resign, a new contract deal, and you know things are resolved, which I think I'm confident that they will be. But uh, if he does, if he does, if he's, he'll be back probably at by SummerSlam again in July. We won't see him for a few months, just like he was last year, and so. That's the thing that makes him that, and doesn't, I mean, I'm kind of a brother, I kind of like him because he's real, and, you know, he's different, and he really is an ass kicker in real life, um, it's really how he is, but, um, he's got to appear more, I don't, I know he doesn't like to travel, but he should at least be appearing, he should be 
Okay, maybe he doesn't have to do live events. Okay, this is uh, this is my thing. Maybe okay, maybe he doesn't have to do live events. Maybe I'll give him that. Maybe he shouldn't. Maybe he doesn't do uh, SmackDown, SmackDown Team. He doesn't do main event. He doesn't do NXT. He doesn't do Make a Wish. He doesn't do any foundations with the little ch children because he doesn't give two shits about that. But um, I mean, at least up here for Raw every week, or at least every other week, at least yeah. I mean, what happens? Paul Heyman at Brock Lesnar does go to UFC and you know have some fights there. I mean, he's going to be 38 years old. Can he really do it? The training and stuff. But, uh, what would happen to Paul Heyman? Because that's the reason why he came back close because of him. Believe it or not. But, um, well, wow. Sorry. Um, what would his role be? I mean, like, what would Brock Lesnar really do? I mean, I mean, he's been here for three years. I mean, he's got to appear for at least Raw. Every Raw, in my opinion, and, and compete and fight and have a match. Do something at the pay per views. He's got to be, he can't be fighting for matches a year, being on pay-per-views, and I'm not even fighting on Raw, just being with Paul Heyman, I'm not even cutting promos, I'm doing any work. And the guy's getting $5 million a year for showing up limited dates. That's just my thing, he should do Raws and pay-per-views, fights on every on the match card, and do everything. Not limited anymore, maybe he missed the snap of things, the live events, the make-a-wish, the everything else is the traveling, but he should at least do that, so yeah, it's going to be able to see you two, peace out. Thanks for supporting, thanks for watching. So make sure to like this video, share this video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Take that time to subscribe.